Good morning. I hope you're all having a wonderful Wednesday morning so far or afternoon if that's when you um, watch this. But I wanted to bring you your story for today. This is called The Wall That Did Not Fall, the story of Rahab's faith. We have a little song that goes along with this in class if you would like to sing it at home. Um, let's see. Rahab looked out her window to see if Joshua's army was coming. Knock, knock, knock. Who could be at her door? Two spies from Joshua's army rushed in. They had some important questions to ask. Everyone in our city is afraid of your people, Rahab told them. The king's soldiers will be looking for you. Hurry, she whispered, follow me. And the men scrambled up the stairs after her. She, had, she hid them on the roof under the flax. It tickled their noses. It scratched their toes, but they were quiet and still. The soldiers came. The soldiers looked. The soldiers went, but they did not find the spies. So Rahab went back to the roof. I know your God is the God of heaven, she said, and he has given you this city. Promise to help my family when your army comes to take Jericho. We promise, said the spies. Then Rahab dropped a rope from the window and the spies climbed out. Tie this red cord here, they said, and everyone in your house will be safe. Rahab believed the spies and did just what they said. One day, the spies came back, but they were not alone. They came with Joshua and his army. The king and his soldiers were ready to fight. I bet Rahab was scared. Takes a lot of faith, right? But Joshua's army did not fight. They did not say a word. They just marched around the city and then they marched away. Why did they do that? Because God told them to. The next day, the army marched around the city again, and once again, they left. Why did they do that? Because God told them to. Three, four, five, six days, they marched around the city and left, but the seventh day was different. They marched around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Why? Because God told them to. Then, just like God said, the people shouted as loud as they could, Hooray! And the walls of Jericho began to crumble. Great stones began to tumble. What a noisy rumble as the walls fell down. But God kept one part of the wall from falling, the part with the red cord tied in the window. That would have been very scary to be Rahab. All the walls crumbling around you. Knock, knock, knock. Rahab knew who it was this time. She hurried to open the door. The spies helped her and her family out to safety. The sky lit up as the city of Jericho went up in flames, but Rahab was saved. She believed in God and he kept her safe. The end. So we all should have faith like Rahab, right? When, God, when we know God will take care of us, we don't have to fear. Even when there are threats of bad things or bad things going on in the world, we don't have to fear because we have the Lord on our side, right? So let's pray. God, thank you for caring for Rahab and her family, and thank you for caring for us that exact same way. Help us to finish strong and continue to grow in our faith in you. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Have a wonderful Wednesday, guys.